No. You look very handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing a video. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sadly, very handsome. My cousin's uh, hat brand, Espresso Parts. But uh, I'm here to in Trader Joe's. Going to show how daily livable the um, the Corvette is, C8 Corvette is. There we go. There she goes right over there. Might be loud. When I get closer, I'm gonna hook it up. So yeah, today's today's fit. Got the express jacket on, but the Michael Jordan T. We got graphics on the back. Look really cool, but can't show up my back. This is like a mirror or something. Got the um the C SIA or SIA shades on. Uh got the polo jeans, you got the the J's, the fives with the Concord. A little blue and purple today. But got the blue. So let's start her up. Close enough where we get here. The engine. Not a cold start. Not a cold start. Open up the front because I might use that. Alright, press and hold and open up the trunk. There we go. Here we go. Let's see the front real quick. I already have stuff in here. Because I went shopping already. Went to Home Depot and I went to the supermarket. Got some stuff. Uh, yeah. And it still has some space because I could turn this sideways. Turn that sideways. Still got space for a whole nother bag right there but we'll see if we need it Let's see if we need the bag uh, yeah but just real quick this is a um, rapid blue with the two-tone interior with the dark blue with the uh, blue stitching light blue stitching on it this is a 2LT and it has all the options in it pretty much except for one option which they tried to sell me on that it's better but I've been driving it for two days now and I'm used to the older one I don't think it's better that is it doesn't have the magnetic dampers I think it rides much better with the magnetic dampers and the steel coils are great, but they don't. I wish I had that. Should have had the red calipers, but the black. Cool forge wheels, the snowflake. This is the 70th anniversary edition. And this car is courtesy of Cloud9 Exotics. Cloud9 Exotics. Farmingdale, Long Island, or Nassau County. I'm down New York, located in Nassau County, on Island. Now let's see how this trunk fills up. Um, I was saying about the suspension though. The suspension is great, except it's not adjustable. And also, let me get a shot at both. Man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's cool though. The doors went up would be even crazier. 
is the convertible model, which I think is way more practical than the. Uh... It's a cool color, right? Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, it's, I mean, you could use it daily. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing a video. I'm showing that you can actually daily drive one of these. Look, all the, you know, shopping cart full, which is what I usually get. It'll, it'll fit in here. Yeah, look at that. If you have stuff for the golf clubs. Oh yeah, I can fit two sets. Yeah, yeah, two sets of golf clubs, full, full nine irons, yeah, right? Yeah, oh man. I'm, it's it's great. I still like the, the older one, the C7, yeah. but which has a little bit more space in storage space, right. the older one. But I mean, you got the you got the front, you got the rear, and it's the convertible. So yeah. you have the convenience of having the trunk and having the convertible top, which the older one had too. It, it had that too, but I think this trunk is uh, a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah, cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, people are admiring the car. So let me show you. Big space right here. Let me put the light on. There we go. Big space, little pockets, little cubbies. Now this is shaped differently. I think it's a little, it's slightly smaller than, it's slightly smaller than uh, the coupe. The hard top coupe, well, removable top coupe, basically. I'll call, you know what? They should just call that the Targa and this the convertible. So, the Targa is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit um, more spacious in the trunk area. But, this is more practical because you don't have to remove the roof to put it in the trunk. You want the top down and you want a grocery shop, you can't really do both in this car. Everything will have to go on the front or on the front seat or something like that. But... Let me show you how this goes. And oh, the, the, the floor on this seems like it's raised up a little bit more. But if you can see, the bag's kind of a little higher up than what I'm used to for the the coupe model. But I mean, they fit. Look at that. They fit. That's two bags, man. I got at least two bags of space left. Look at that. Look at that, baby. This is this is my version, almost full grocery shopping. That was a full shopping car, as you've seen. Four bags, four bags. Going in there easily and still really has a little bit of space on the side for some, some other stuff. I didn't even need the front. Let's see how this closes. Okay, I feel it. You know, I don't know if you hear it. I feel it crunching a little bit, but guess what? Clamp, clamps down nicely. It's just the top of the bags, the handles, you hear crunching or whatever. I'll bring this cart back. <clears throat> front, see, this is the usefulness of the front trunk. Look at that. I didn't even need to. Drop away. Click once. Click. Oh, man. It clicked twice. And I'll say proper way. The proper way to do this. You know what? Let me pop it open. Pop it over here. He has two openings. Proper way to do this is to. Oh yeah, there it goes. Click once. Click twice. I must have clicked it as I pushed it down. Clicked it the first time. Yeah, that interior is beautiful. So, let me lock this thing. I mean, they can, nobody can drive away with it. It's in remote start mode, as you heard. So, the suspension rides stiffer in touring mode. Well, it's one mode. It doesn't change. It's a really an excellent suspension. It's really good for like everything. Like it for for an exotic, it rides beautifully over bumps and everything. Like over most roads. 
you get a real bumpy road. Like I was on some, you know, in New York, you have crazy, you know, northeast. You have some crazy bumpy roads. So I'm going over these roads that are really brittle. And I mean, the suspension was all over the place. In relativity to the, uh, I think they call it FE4 suspension. The magnetic suspension sorts out all of those bumps and imperfections. Now, I think that would be preferred on a racetrack. A lot of people like to track the car. Um, it would be preferred on the racetrack to have a smoother, this is the magnetic suspension takes out all of those imperfections and everything like that. I've driven the other one extensively. I didn't get to do a review on it because of uh, um, problems with the camera. But anyway, the suspension on this one is good for everything. I don't really have too much issue except for I'm used to the magnetic and it rides like a luxury car. Like it literally rides short of, I'm gonna say a S class. I would say it's kind of close. The S class, the last S class that I've driven, it's the last generation, no, the new, the last generation, it was very smooth, but on some roads it was brittle, whereas in the Corvette, the C8, Stingray actually smoothed those roads out, those bumps out better than what that um, S Class had did. So, honestly, that's kind of better. This one was better with the magnetic suspension than a lot of luxury cars. Um, I drive an Avalon, the Toyota Avalon, and it, it rides pretty good. And this rides way better than that. It's like Lexus, I'm not gonna say Lexus, Lexus is some of the best riding suspensions but it's it's it rides better than any supercar has any business riding it rides far softer and that and a snap of a finger or a twist of the wrist to select the mode you can actually uh change the character of it and this car has everything set for the suspension that's the only thing that's missing it has front end lift it has the front cameras, it has everything. I mean, the the 3LT um, uh, package with the interior, it has the heated steering wheel. I mean, everything. All right, so this is just kind of like a daily usability review. I'm gonna do more of a review on it maybe tomorrow if the weather is good, even if it's not could do an interior review i'm not going to do that right now because i'm actually living in this <laughs> like i'm actually like you know driving around doing my daily routines and everything in this and just to really show you know how it does but uh i'm gonna part with this if i can Here we go. You can remote with the top up. Okay, I'm trying to do it. Okay, it's not doing it right now. Gotta hold it. Okay, it's doing something crazy. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, let me just shut it down. Let me try to do this now. Okay, there you go. Top went down. Let's do the top up now. I mean, top went back up. Let's do it down now. I think you have to lock it and then do it. All right, let's see. Stop me before. I don't know. All right, this thing is going haywire. So 
Uh, it usually just opens the whole top, but it's not doing it right now. I don't know why. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's probably the way I'm pressing the button or whatever. So let me just get in and put it down. <clears throat> but that was it. See you guys next time.